Today's daf is daf ayin vav. We're going to begin on daf ayin hey omen beis omar mar. Okay, omar mar. We learned the brisa says that the chacham said the name of shulchis hey mishal mitashlumi kefo. The witnesses pay the double portion. So the gemara says mitikamay the ganav from the fact that the ganav admits that he stole the animal. Can and buy So why is is he required to pay the principal amount? Why then should he? Why should the Edom Zimim be required to pay the, the double payment, which includes the principal amount? I in yeah, I in hey I would be his, the last line. So we're lost. We spread it out. Now we're holding on the I involved three tashlumi kevo. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is my last three sugi. I in I in involved. I'm with Alice. Is there? Okay, gone off. The Mishnah says like this. Here, top, top list. And need uh, art scrolls. Okay. Um, the Mishnah says like this. Gonav the hiktish ba'achach tafach ha'machar. If a person, if a person stole an animal, and then after he, the other top, after he stole the animal, he was mocked the shit as a korban, very Robin Hood style. He steals and he's mocked the shit to the base of English. And then and afterwards he shechs it or sold it. So what's it then? The Ghana has to pay Kefa has to pay double payment, but he does not pay Dal Behe. That's what the Mishnah said. So like this. Amri the Chacham said, Bishlemat Fichalim Khayev granted he's not Chayev to pay Dal and He cause the Khi Kotofach because when he shechted the animal, the Hektish Kotovach, he's shechting Hektish. Beloid the Mori Kotovach. So he shechted an animal that belongs to the to Haglish, and he did not shecht an animal belonging to the owner. Or well, the terror says that the Zahi of Dalabe, it's only when it's somebody else's animal, not Hektish. Hello. So now but a Hektish the Chayat, but let him be Chayat to pay Dalabe for having Matish the animal in the first place. It may love that Tfihil Mishida find his Hektish, I understand. But the Khathila to be Matish um the Chathila, the fact that he took, he stole an animal and he robbed and hooded, and he mismarked it, and he should have to pay. Dalad vehe. Mali mecharla had Mali mecharla shemayin. What difference to me if he sold the animal to a regular person, or what difference is to me if he sold it to the Abishter? Hector should be considered to a sale. In either case, ownership of the animal is transferred, right? Let me say, to the Tafachu Machar, if he, if he was, if he, Slaughtered it or he sold it. He has to be dialed bay. So you're saying, oh, if he, if he, you're basically selling it to the base of English. So you should be high for dialed the hay over there. Dialed it. So the man says, so, 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 and we just started now. So basically, the question is, the Mishnah said, Gona big di shabach haftaf a chumach. He doesn't have to be dialed the hay. So may I understand why the tfichi doesn't have to pay on that? Is because he's being tiveach the hektish. But for the fact that he went ahead and took an animal, it was mocked as something that doesn't belong to him, he should have to pay. Hey, what do I care if he sold it to somebody else or if he sold it to the, to the Eberster? He didn't say this. Not his. It's not his, exactly. He's, gener- <laughs> He's generous. He's generous at a fiend of his Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a guy Robin Hood, right? So they call these kids. They would be well, Robin Hood. Well, Robin Hood. They steal from the rich and they give what? Give the poor. Yeah, they steal money. They give to the they, they give stuck. Yeah, we know these types. Okay, Zalmani, Zalmani. Who's who's the Mishnah? So who's our Mishnah? Like Rabbi Shimon, he this is and according to the page of Rabbi Shimon, the Amr he says Kach of Shachai Bachrius, and he holds like this. He says Carbonus, for which the owner bears financial, and we had this already yesterday, financial responsibility to replace the animal. If one of the animals either got lost or dies, are Bereshusei de Mari Kaimi are to be in the, are considered to be in the possession of the owner. The Mishnah is referring to the case where the Ghanav was makdish the animal in such a manner that he's obligated to replace it if he lost or damaged before being shechted. So, now basically one consequence of the potential financial loss is that the animal is considered to be in the Ghanav's possession even after he was makdish it. Therefore, the animal's hektish um, is not is not basically... Um, it's not limited to the sale of another party. So, Fred Gemara, I the savior of Shimon, from the fact that the later case, the Mishnah is in accordance with the opinion of Rabbi Shimon, they should allow Rabbi Shimon. It must be that the issue is not Rabbi Shimon. 
where it says that Hachamayi Skilim Bekoshim Kalim. We're dealing with a case where the Galiv was matched to animal, but what type of animal? Kotshim Kalim. I believe that it basically the Omer Kotshim Kalim. By Kotshim Kalim is Momen Bailim. Well, Kotshim Kalim is not Momen and Kavaya is Momen Bailim. It's the property of the owner. Or Shusikaiman is considered like a Shlomim, and therefore it's considered in his possession. Therefore, it's Hektish is not. Um, it's not like he's being matched to a sale of another party. So Fred Gumar, I will coach him, I will coach him, coach him, coach But what's going to be by coach him, coach him, coach him, Mishan, coach him, Baba Hamishri, telling me that he has to pay four or five times the amount? So I'll tell you the issue. So now the question is, um, rather than teaching the following, the early case of the Mishnah, which we had, uh, the Mishnah said, that in the case where um, if he stole an animal is shechted and afterwards was marked the shit, so the din is mishan tashlom er baba chamish. He has to pay four or five. Lift the glistin bedida. Let the tana distinguish and teach the opposing Allah with the same category and say med. But remember what and when do we say this is bekachim kalim is bekachim kalim. Our kach kedushim mishan tashlom er baba But when it comes to kachim kachim, he has to pay four or five times. Now we see that the mishnah doesn't do this. So rather, I'm rather Lishna Kachi Kadoshim, Lishna Kachi Kalim. There's no difference between Kachi Kachi Kadoshim and Kachim Kalim. With the Kachi Lach Mali Mechirle Hedi with Mali Mechirle Shemayim, I had a question: What difference does it make to me if he sells it to Hediyot or he sells it to the Eibster? Mechadal the Hediyot, me Kordon Tere the Ruven, me Hashat Tere the Shimon. The fact is, it, 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 um, for example, Ruven sold an ox to to Shimon, so. At the outset, it was Shimon's ox, and now after the sale, it's Shimon, it's Ruben's ox. If he sold it to heaven, in other words, he was mocked to shit as a carbon, it's not considered to have been transferred in the possession of another party. He, it, it, it's Ruben, and now it's Ruben. The chimney used, and therefore, so therefore you don't say that person, you don't have the Arab permission? Correct. Because you're not, you're not really selling something you're selling to the Abishter. The Gansa, I'll say the Abishter. So here, it's your... So he took it. It came to Ashar. He said, Ashar. For your vein. He said, not know, maybe he had to... He, he, he was not the shit of the Ebrister. So he has to pay him. It's not careful. He has to pay him. It's not grave. He doesn't have to. Why? He didn't change anything. Because he didn't change anything. He didn't sell. Yechida means... Yechida means you sold it. He went into another Rishos. Correct. It's not, it's not, it doesn't have the category of Mechida. Now, Reb Shimon, Reb Shimon says, in the case of a, we say like this, Reb Shimon said, in the case of the Kachim, for which the owner has a chrayis, wouldn't the, wouldn't the Beza Mikdash ask where they got the, where he got the, the Charlotte, to see where they shouldn't accept it? Why, every time somebody gives a donation, you ask them where, uh, yeah. they say he got to the Shreddi, to the Beza Mikdash? No, because he brings it to off record. Okay, or Shimon Eimer Shimon says, says this in the case of a of a carbon for which the owner has to has responsibility to replace the a- other animal if one of the original animals that was stolen or dies, so the ganav is obligated to pay f- four or five times if he shechs one of the animals. If it's a carbon for which the owner bears no financial responsibility, then the ganav is exempt from is 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 exempt from dal and hay. Now at this stage, the gemara assumes that Shimon requires dal and hay payment as a kanas. For the act of being makdish itself, rather than for the act of shechting it. So, frankly, the mana and the he the son of Shimon, Malik Bechar Ladin, Malik Bechar Shemayim. Yes, you're right. He does hold of the of the logic. What's the difference to me if he sold the animal to a ordinary person, or what difference is to me if he sold it to the Eibushter? But nevertheless, Ibchami Boyle. Nevertheless, you should have said the opposite. And the explains Kachim Shachai Bachrius, and he should have said in the case of Kachim. For which one bears financial responsibility, so then but the Ganav is exempt from paying Dalad Bay. In other words, the Ganav stole a non hectish animal and then it was Makdashit as a Korban, in such a case that he bears responsibility to replace it. He should be exempt from Dalad Vehe for the act of hectish. Why? Because the animal has not yet left his possession. And therefore, this act of hectish should not be considered a sale. But in the case of Kotchim, for which one does not bear financial responsibility, then chayef, the ganav should be chayef to pay the dal of the hay. If the ganav stole a non hectish animal and then was matashit as a carbon in such a way that he does not bear a chayef to replace it, he should be chayef to pay dal of the hay for the act of hectish. Why? Because he's thereby removed the animal 
from his rishos. So Amr the Chacham said in response, of Shimon, of Shimon is not discussing the issue of whether hektish of an animal is is about about sale. Amil but he's referring to a different manner, one that is not explicitly mentioning the Mishnah. This is what the Mishnah is teaching. Another thing, person who steals an animal after, yeah, he steals from a then Maganav. He steals an animal after a thief, after the Ganav already stole. He steals it from a Ganav, so he steals it from the Ganav. Does not pay kefal, and if he shechted it, then the halacha is he does not pay our brother Chamisha. The chen gate of hektish from base bailim. A person who steals hektish from the house of its owners is also putter from kefal. And if it was chef, and if he shefted the animal or sold it, also his potter is potter from paying the My time. And what's the reason? The reason is because Megunu mi base Ishtir says, and it was stolen from the house of the man. But let me base hektish, and not if the item in question was stolen out of the house of the hektish. Now, Rav Shimon and Rav Shimon says, Kachim shachai b'achriyusan. If the stolen item were kachim animals, which the owner is chai b'achriyusan, chai of the is chai. My time. What's the reason? Korean and Bay, because we we call the Gunim and Bay Ish. Terry says, and it was stolen from the ha- from the house of the men. She ain't a chai bachrius in the potter. Like Korean and Bay, the Gunim and Bay We do not read the potter that was stolen from the man's house. So now the Gemara says, Mifti. Shamin and Leila, the Bishim and Amar. We have learned elsewhere concerning the Bishim and said, Amar says, Shkita Shin and Rila. He says, an act of Shkita does not fit for accomplishing a full Shkita. Shkita Shin and Rila is Lishma Shkita. So, so if a Ghana shechs a Korban animal, he stole, this is also an act of shechting that's not fit uh, properly. Um, so, it, and because of this halacha, it's also to eat uh, Korbanis animals shechted outside the base of Midlash. He said that it's referring to a case where the Ghana shechted the animal. It was unblemished inside the base midrash for the sake of its owners. So in this case, its meat may be eaten. So Friday the mother had a chazra carried by them, but by shechting and and being mocked of the carbonus on behalf of its owner, it's as though the principle, the animal itself, has been returned to the owner, and dal the should no longer apply because the owner had designated the animal as a carbon and was in fact for that purpose. So I'm going to read so baravon it's referring to a case where the animal's blood was spilled before it could be sprinkled on the mizbech. So the owner did not achieve kapara through the carbon, which is why it is not considered as though the animal has been returned to the owner. He also said, and when the Ravan came to Artisrol, he said a different girsa for this answer and said the name of Rabbi Echelon. It's referring to a case where the Ghana shech to the animal, unblemished, inside the base of Middlesh, but not for the sake of the owner. Allah is in that case, in this case, is that the animal's meat may be eaten, but the owner has not fulfilled the obligation of bringing the carbon. In such a case, so the shita of the animal does not render the meat fit for eating, but it's not considered as though the animal has been returned to the owners. Now, explains that the referring to a case where the ganem shechted blemished animals out to the Bismillah. Where the animal came from was Kamsa Bar Kamsa. When it tapped, I mean, to get them going, and they said, Where's this animal from? And then they do us because it was going to be from the king and it had the blemish, and then they caught and they said, right. and accepted it. So they must have known. Every single. Oh, oh no. Okay. Tai Bar Belazar. Rabbi Lazar wondered about this discussion. Rabbi Yechlon and Shechita Matara is according to the explanation, Rabbi Yechlon, which are based on the assumption that it's referring to Shechita. Animal inside the Bismillah, is this shechting the animal permitted to eat? But it's not the shechita that's matter, it's the zrika which is matter. In other words, the, the, it, it, it is also to eat the meat immediately after the shechita, only after the sprinkling of the blood is permitted to consume the meat. As the shechita itself does not make the animal's meat permitted, there should be no chiyov to pay the payment. So the Rishlakish Rabbilazah continues. The Rishlakish Shechita Mataras, according to the Rishlakish, it says that this case is referring to the Shechita of a hectic blemish animal outside the Besamilash. Is the Shechita Mataras? Well, it's Mataras. It's the redemption of the animal that makes it permitted. Since the Ghana Shechted a Karba, a, a hectic, it's also to eat the meat until its Kedush is removed from redeeming it with money. Once again, the Shechita itself does not make the meat permitted. And here too, there should be no liability to pay Dalad Vahey. 
Now, the Gemara says, Ishtamite Yehada Reb Shimon. Apparently, the following statement of Reb Shimon escaped Reb Lazar, who asked these questions. Why? Because Reb Shimon holds that any blood that is ready to be sprinkled is Kazaragdom, it's like already has been sprinkled. And any animal that is ready to be redeemed is Kapadusdom, is considered as it's redeemed. Now, the Gemara proves that Reb Shimon holds these two opinions. There are cases involving nice or leftover meat after the after the time allowed alluded to the consumption. It's nicer. And it's metame tumas in which the meat is susceptible to contracting tumor of food. And there are cases of of shirayim of, of leftover meat in which the meat is not susceptible for contracting tumor of food. Kate said how so? If the carbon meat was disqualified due to the fact that lun lefnezrika it remained overnight after the amount of time for the shita but lefnezrika but before the sprinkling of the blood so then any matam tumas eichlan it's not susceptible for tumas eichlan lachazrika but after sprinkling then it's matam tumas eichlan it is. Um, second. So where 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 we? Okay, so Kate said, "Lan Now, the Kaimela we we learned. That my what does it mean before the sprinkling of the blood? It means before the blood became fit for sprinkling. What does it mean after the sprinkling? After it became fit for sprinkling. Now, what is the case? The meat remains overnight before the blood became fit for sprinkling. Since the blood is fit for sprinkling almost immediately after the animal shechted, has it possible for the meat to become nice before that stage? The lay have a shoes being the misery, okay? So the more answers as referred to a case where it's not enough time in the day to sprinkle the blood, shaft is some of the shkesachama, and he shafted the offering immediately prior to sunset. And in this case, the meat is not susceptible for Tumas Eichlin as there was never a time when it was permitted for consumption. Now, Lacher Shanil is Rikad Lun, and in a case where the meat remained overnight after the blood became fit for sprinkling, they have a shoes being the misery, okay? It's when there was enough time remaining in the day after the shecht of the sprinkle of the blood. Um, and therefore the meat is metamet to mazichlan, almost what we see, kolayim, and this like is kazar of damit. Now, kolayim is lifted to kapata damit, tanya of shem neighbor, shem it says, so the long was blot and shas, the next almud. Don't, don't twist my arm here. It's a long blot. Para, okay, you see, it's two, 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 two lines. Yeah. yeah. Para, the meat of the para aduma. Is metamatumas eichlan is susceptible to contracting tuma of food, despite the fact that it's also to derive benefit from such meat. However, since it had a time when it was fit for consumption. Now, next, uh, next plot of Amr Shlavnish, and Shlavnish says an explanation of Shimon's statement. Shimon would say that a paraduma can be redeemed with money even when it has already been shechted upon, like the for the sake of purification. For this reason, Shimon claimed that the meat had a time when it was fit for Achila, as it can be rendered permitted for consumption through Pidiya. So what do we see from Ramah? So what do we see from here? Kalayim is is Kapadi Dami. Something that is ready to be redeemed is considered as though it has already been redeemed. Okay, tomorrow.